हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर राहुल चौधरी कंसल्टेंट स्पाइन सर्जन वर्किंग इन मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल बानेर पुणे टुडे वील टॉक अबाउट ऑस्टियोपोरोटिक वर्टिब्रल फ्रैक्चर्स सो ऑस्टियोपोरोसिस मीन्स बोन द कैल्शियम इन द बोन इज रेड्यूस्ड एंड ड्यू टू विच समाइम वी गेट अ फ्रैक्चर ऑफ द वर्टिब्रल बॉडीज इट इज यूजली सीन in old people who have severe osteoporosis or whose bones have become very weak due to the lack of calcium in such patients due to a trivial fall or a simple jerk to the back can cause the fracture of the vertebral bodies now whenever we are talking about the vertebral fractures it causes severe back pain patient is not able to sit patient not able to change the positions walking is almost impossible so they become totally bedridden now any old patient if they become bedridden it causes multiple medical problems so in such patients when they have a very severe back pain especially due to the vertebral fractures the newer techniques has come to relieve their back pain these are techniques which involve the bone cement injection into the vertebral bodies now what is bone cement it is a chemical mixture which is usually fluid it's my kind of a liquid initially when we inject into the vertebral bodies and it becomes solid like a bone in 8 to 10 minutes so primarily it reduces the back pain by 90 to 95% and it gives some stability to the fractured vertebral body this is more like a day care procedure which is done under the local anesthesia with patient with incomplete senses Usually we perform the procedure in the morning and patient is discharged by evening and they can go to the washroom on their own they can change the position they can sit they can walk Now there are various types of uh, bone cement injections first is a vertebroplasty here we put one needle into the fractured vertebral body and through that needle we directly inject the liquid bone cement into the vertebral body and fill that vertebral body with the cement second is a kyphoplasty now here when we put the needle into the vertebral body through that needle we put one balloon inside the vertebral body we inflate that balloon and make some room for the verte- in the vertebral body for the bone cement once we inflate the balloon and then we remove that balloon and we again inject the bone cement into that space third technique is a stentoplasty this in this technique like a kyphoplasty we put the balloon we inflate it then on the balloon we have one cobalt chrome a metal uh, cage which is inserted into the vertebral bodies and it is like a internal scaffold and that cage is filled with the bone cement so it essentially restore at least partially the vertebral body height and it gives a significant stability to the vertebral fracture bone so that is how it is it is made more safe and more uh, secured way of putting bone cement into the vertebral body so to summarize i think vertebral fractures especially in old people who are really having severe back pain not able to walk not able to maintain the personal hygiene in this patient to avoid the medical complications to make them move rapidly there should be a rapid recovery in such patients we can reduce the back pain by more than 90% with a day care procedure like a vertebroplasty kyphoplasty or a stentoplasty thank you